in terms of dealing with Hollywood, uh, Peter, Peter Capaldi, Oscar winner, he shares an Oscar with you, uh, but you, uh, but no, you did win an Oscar. Don't yes, look like that. Yes, yes, but, get but, on with but it, the story <laughs> I want, no, the story I want, and it's such a kind of, it's how brutal Hollywood can be. Peter has such a, well, anyway, tell your story. It was, I, uh, uh, I, I won an Oscar for directing a short film. I didn't know you could win Oscars for short films, but there you are, that happened. Very exciting, went to Hollywood, marvellous, wonderful. Uh, and I sold a script uh, to uh, a company called uh, Merrimax, who were very famous. Oh, oh. Um, think, yeah. And they let me, uh, I, I came back home to Britain, and I worked on this script, and they were paying me, and it was lovely. I mean, I bought, yeah. I bought my house and all that stuff. <laughs> uh, and we did it over the phone and stuff like that. Yeah. And they said, OK, we're going we're gonna to make this movie. So uh, uh, they booked me on a flight to New York, and I was going to fly over and, and start uh, discussions about it. I got on the flight, got to the hotel, uh, a big dream car outside, got into the car, uh, and the driver was a lovely guy. I can't remember, he was called Ralph. And he said to me, what are, you, what are you doing here? And I said, well, I'm just going down to begin work on my movie. We're going to start talking about uh, casting, probably, and uh, pre-production. He said, great. And he said, I have to take you down to the office. I said, yeah. And he said, they'll have to wait for you. And I said, no, it's, it's all, you probably don't have to wait because we're probably going to go for a meal and have some champagne and stuff. He said, no, I've been told to wait. Uh. Oh. All right, OK. So, uh, but I still think I'm a, I'm a big shot by this time. Yeah. So I gave him a big tip. I uh, said, so you have that, Ralph, thanks very much. You can wait if you like, but we're going to be a while, probably. And I go into the offices uh, and, and meet the guy who's in charge, uh, Bob, who basically says, we ain't going to do this. It's over. And that was it. There was, there was, we, we weren't going to do anything else. We weren't going to talk about production. We weren't going to uh, <laughs> talk about other projects. It was just wow. over. There was the door, but your driver's waiting. <laughs> <laughs> And I got into the car, and I was, in, I was sort of in shock. Yeah. I didn't know what to, what to do, because my whole... I had no money. <laughs> I spent all my money. <laughs> I had no yeah. career as an actor, because that was over, because I yeah. decided to be a director. And I was laughing. I said, it's over. I've got, I've, Ralph was saying to me, what's happened to you? I said, I, he was, I was going to make a movie, and, and, and now I'm not going to make a movie, and I've got, no, I've got no money, I've got no career, I've got nothing. And we got out of the car, and he gave me my tip back. <laughs> New York. <laughs> <laughs>